Dispatch, a consumer alert for you this morning, 618. Forbes magazine is reporting that the pandemic caused the supply chain crisis. On top of import issues combined with labor shortages, this is going to take years to correct. But there's one industry that's actually seeing a benefit from this. ABC 10's Mark S. Allen is live in Sacramento at a clothing store. Mark, we want to let people what they need know, figure out what they need to know this morning about this. But one thing, you mentioned a Louis Vuitton bag earlier, and I guess people really want to help out by shopping because they're asking me how much it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, my promise to you is we will seal the deal. I will deliver that information in a moment. Uh, this all started, we started thinking, hey, Monday is National Consignment Day. Let's celebrate it by talking about that part of uh, retail that is staying alive. Uh, this is Abraham Hi. Article. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I'm, a, I'm good. I'm very good. Article's been open for how long? 12 years. It'll Got be 12 it. years in December. And you survived the pandemic, had some woes in the beginning, but now this industry is thriving. And like any young person right now knows that thrifting is huge among high school and college age, yeah. but also higher end products. The yeah. values are there. Yeah, it's incredible. The things that are coming in now and the things that are actually selling are these luxury items that are just sitting in somebody's closet and they need new life. And so it's kind of cool that sustainability aspect of it, of people being able to pay it forward basically and be able to resell it, make some money for themselves and then share with the world. And if we talk about the traditional chains, if we're talking Hugo Boss or a Fendi bag or a Louis Vuitton bag, uh, the manufacturing process is at a standstill. The import is at a standstill. The retailers are having trouble getting people to stock their shelves. That's not your problem. In fact, if people need those values, they can come to a place like this. And yeah, exactly. And it's incredibly um, unfortunate. Sometimes there's things, like you said, in the actual boutiques, um, like Louis Vuitton, that are completely sold out. All right, Jeremy, and come over here. We have a uh, promise to fulfill. Uh, I think she was talking about that piece of luggage, but I want to talk about this because it's exciting. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton bag. You've actually had it redone by the Louis Vuitton factory to bring it back to light new. What's the price tag on that? So this one here is $13.95. It's incredible. It's a 1984 piece, um, but the handles were just replaced by Louis Vuitton. And so it's just a really fun kind of way to bring back life to something that's still a classic piece there. There you go. And a value. Back to you. I'm going to have to relay that information. We'll have to see. See, you're helping the community just by shopping. I love it, Mark. Thanks. Brittany.